do-it-yourself user interface for home automation in the kitchen. If you have an extra, you know, iPad laying around or something, that would work pretty well. But I didn't, and I had some of these Asus T100 Transformer books. So 3D printed a frame, printed this little flexible plastic tabs to hold hold the thing in. And also, when you slide it in, there's the USB connector, so. It just instantly starts charging whenever you get it in there. Back behind here we've got a USB adapter, AC adapter that's uh, powering up this thing. So if you don't know about the ASUS Transformer book, it's, uh, it's about $250 and it's a PC. So we've got full Windows 10 here. Let's see, desktop. So I did put this thing a little close to the door frame. <laughs> it still works, but it's a little tight. I'll go ahead and get this sucker in here. You can see it comes up and starts charging. Let's go into tablet mode here. So the Windows tablet actually works pretty cool when it comes to using it for your home automation. So. You, of course, run your apps, like this is our radar here. Got some mess going over Dallas. But uh, pretty simple to switch, switch your apps. And then uh, for the rest of my home automation, the main apps I'm using is, this is Node-RED UI. Um, it's free. Um, pretty responsive cool little thing. Um, I'll come back to this in just a second. But of course I just have, this is just a web browser, I got tabs so I can see my home autom my uh, cameras, traffic, back to Node-RED. So if you don't know, Node-RED is a free application that can run logic and all of my sensors are pretty much built by myself because it's fun and they all communicate using MQTT. So MQTT is the back, back end on this. Over here, Node-RED is going out to um, Weather Underground and pulling the, the weather for my location. Um, over here we have some integration with my doorbell. So. As you can see, I can open and close the garage door. But I also have another tab here that's demo tab. This is kind of neat. So this is just a Texas Instruments launch pad connected to the MQTT broker. But you can see how responsive it is. Watch the status here. Ridiculously quick and responsive. Of course, we can turn things on and off on and off. I'm also going to show you, I'm going to hold up my phone here and show you I tied the green LED on to a um, email. So this is another thing that Node-RED can do really easily. Email! There it is. I'm going to do it a couple times. What are you doing? I'm holding my phone against the volume button on the thing, which is why that uh, thing. Here, I'll turn it up. And then of course you could just do other Windowsy things um, you guys might not care about, but I think it kind of adds to the value of the whole thing. Hey Cortana, play me some music. Sure, queuing up your music. Okay, so the speaker is reasonable. Um, it'd be really nice to have a, a good quality speaker and microphone array. Now 
Hey Cortana, give me an apple pie recipe. Then the other thing that's kind of a work in progress, it works on my other computers but not this one, is custom Cortana commands which is pretty cool. I'll show you what it's supposed to do. Hey Cortana, please ring the doorbell. So she should be able to okay. interface. Knock, knock. She should be able to interface with my um, pretty much everything in my home automation, but um, still working on that. So I noticed that uh, after I started putting this video together, that some of the video made it look like this wasn't very crisp, but it actually is very nice looking. I don't feel like reshooting all of my video, but. Uh, 